What was your first impression of this opera when you heard about it and why did you decide to produce it here in this context at Villa La Pietra? Um, I'm passionate about opera. It's very important in my life. I write about opera in my work and in public media. Around this time, a year ago, I heard um, Roberto's sonatas being presented in the Limonaya, and I was so moved by how beautiful they were that we spoke afterwards, and he, I think we decided, we talked about it that very night, and Roberto told me that there was an opera on the Orlando Furioso subject, and I immediately imagined the possibility that we might present it here in the gardens. Uh, this is the second time your opera is performed in a very different context from the first one. I want to know your immediate reaction to this uh, performance in these beautiful grounds and with uh, so many different elements. When I was writing the, this piece, I was imagining, uh, you, usually when you write, you imagine something really big that is uh, um, almost impossible to produce. Uh, but tonight, it was like beyond the imagination. So to have uh, this, uh, this amphitheater here and, uh, and the story is uh, inside the forest. So this garden was like the perfect set. We didn't need to do anything about the setting. And also to have, uh, of course, all the, all the students uh, of the villa, because I'm here teaching an opera class. And, um, and, uh, and I was so lucky to have my student participate to, um, as an audience, you know, to the, to the opera, but also the Commedia dell'arte that I always uh, saw during all this year that uh, we were teaching there, we saw so many production and, and I was always amazing about what they can do and to have them into the opera doing like the magic creature or the battles or even the boat was really amazing for me as a production. <laughs> Quando scrivevi questo libretto, eh, pensavi a un allestimento di questo tipo? Volevo un allestimento di questo tipo, finalmente l'ho avuto, quindi sono soddisfattissima. Nella mia immaginazione volevo che fosse qualcosa di fantastico e questa dimensione mi sembra che sia venuta fuori grazie anche a, alla partecipazione della scuola di teatro e, e di tante altre componenti. E, fra il sognante, la favola, eh, un po' meno epica del poema originale ovviamente, nessuno azzarda a, a toccarlo, però eh, è la nostra dimensione. The combination of the strings and the saxophones I thought was both incredibly original and incredibly moving. I thought that both the rhythms and the melodies were exciting as well as beautiful. Um, the way that the singers came together with the orchestra and the Commedia dell'arte and the chorus, the whole, well, opera is the most complicated thing to produce um, because it requires all of those elements that have to be brought together. Um, fundamental was, Robert, was Roberto's music, but the way that all of these different teams participated, I mean, just the lighting um, is an indispensable and incredibly complicated piece. So I was deeply, deeply moved moved by the magic of the way the whole thing came together and also moved by the acoustic of doing it in the night air in this space. I thought the sound of it in the night air was really magical to the ear.